this year, the Victorian government engaged us to work through and do the Victorian bushfire cleanup after the uh, bushfires that occurred over the, the Christmas holiday period. What we're really trying to do is clean up all the bushfire waste and get the community rebuilding as soon as, as safely as possible. A lot of our labour that we've employed through here are from local communities and regional. Um, Bobcat operators, traffic controllers, and what we've tried to do is actually get them under the umbrella of some of these larger companies to give them a chance to be part of this recovery. Some of the materials that we found here are asbestos and arsenic, so we've been working with EPA and WorkSafe to align our procedures with their expectations to make sure that we're handling and disposing of that material in a safe manner. 116 houses lost sounds like a bad thing, but uh, to not have a life lost or not a serious injury um, was, a, was a great outcome. So you can see where the fire's actually come down here on the right. Uh, the CFA actually stopped it in the creek bed just here. And you can just see up here, this is where we've actually got it closed off. So we've got asbestos removal just happening up on the left here. Some of the newer houses actually survived. So some of them have actually got a, uh, a bushfire attack level rating and uh, it's clearly worked. Yeah, that's my house there with the, um, the three poles that are standing up there. That's um, pretty much all that's left of it. We were evacuated Christmas Day. I went to Apollo Bay. Um, Tony stayed back to fight the fire. Um, he made that decision that he was going to protect the town assets as, uh, as all the rest of his brigade did. I got a phone call at about eight o'clock in the morning and the first thing he said when I picked up the phone, he just said to me, babe, I'm alive. <laughs> and I think they were the best words that I've ever heard. It's going to be a long process before houses are rebuilt uh, here and um, I feel for those people who've got to go through that. We're seeing a lot of wildlife come through now. We're seeing um, koalas, we're seeing echidnas, we're seeing kangaroos, so a lot of bird life kicking back, which is great. It's a really interesting project. Normally at Grocon we're building buildings. This is something completely different, a little bespoke. It's a clean-up process, so it's certainly something as a construction company that uh, is different. I've been part of two clean-ups now, so from 2009, which was quite a large scale, to the clean-up now as, as well has been a great honour. Wye River Separation Creek is a very special place. They've got some great people and they've got some great community spirit.